Hey everybody, it's Nick uh, for today's tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to place random objects uh, on a plane. And just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to place a little capture for my phone. Look at my office floor, my dirty laundry. Um, scan for that uh, plane. And then when I tap my phone, it's going to place objects wherever I tap, but from a random uh, list. Okay, Lots of objects. All right, so that's what we're talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Unity, and you can start a new scene. Uh, make sure you add the AR Session origin and AR Session. Get rid of the camera that comes in by default. Um, this script is based on the scene that's in the uh, the, the uh, files I have. Um, that's just called Horizontal Frame Placement or Horiz Flame uh, Frame Placement. Uh, but if you need to build it by yourself, this is how you do that. Well, if you got your AR camera, make sure that you've got the tracked pose driver. Uh, in there, and if you go into AR Session Origin, make sure you've got AR Plane Manager script uh, loaded. Uh, under my uh, prefabs, I've already got the AR Plane Visualizer that we created in a previous video. You can find that in my files. If it's not there, go ahead and drag that into the Plane Prefab. For this demo, I want to do detection mode as horizontal. I don't want to. I don't want to try to detect everything. Um, if those things are not there. Just go ahead and do add component, and then you can go ahead and just type in, you know, like what what's there. So you know, AR plane manager, etc. And that all all that should work just fine. So again, so all that's going to be in there. For this, uh, this is all basically generated uh, uh, by a script, and uh, it's it's called a random floor placement controller. So under that origin, go ahead and just drag that um, random floor placement controller script in there. And we'll come back to that in a second. First thing I want to do though is get our prefabs in. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make a new folder for those. I'm just going to call this um, uh, my random. Oops, there we go. Uh, random uh, objects, whatever. Open that up, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my the files I've got. Uh, maybe one second here. Right, so in my finder, I've got some prefabs here. The last one's kind of broken, so I'll just fix that later. But there you go. I got my four, my four objects there that I created, and they're separate. Go ahead if you want to. Uh, if you've got materials and textures, go ahead and just add the materials. I like to do um, these days a materials folder and a textures folder inside of that. It makes it easier to remap everything. These cases, though, they're just dumb colored materials. So I, all I need to do is just basically say extract materials, click on my materials folder, and just do that with everything. You had a lot of objects. There's probably a way to script it, but it would take too long to write right now. So you can just sit down and do this for as many objects as you need. There you go. So everything's everything's instantiated, and I would just 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 test things out, make sure that they uh, have the right orientation and everything and that looks like it does so just drag them in and then get rid of them if they don't go back to studio max you know go ahead and fix those pivots and and that kind of stuff but these these will be fine um okay so i got my materials uh from those i've got my prefab um objects that i created and i'm gonna go back to my uh scene and to the origin and you can see i've got an object array uh, I'll get into this later, but basically how this works is I'm just going to go ahead and drag these in and somewhere right where this object array, see how it turns green? There's a green circle there. That's this kind of sweet spot. Go ahead and drag those in. So now the array is a size one and it has an element box. Oops, go back to my origin here. Go ahead and just drag these in. And you gotta, you, you, you kind of get used to where the spot is and just drag them in there. And again, there's probably a way to script this if you have like a hundred objects or whatever, but this is just a quick way to do that. So all that, if you compiled it at this point with the scripts I gave you, it would work, okay? It's completely random. There's no weight to any of the objects or anything like that. We can get to that in another script, but that's how this works. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that script though, just so we understand uh, what's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my scripts folder and I'm gonna double click on that random floor. And I'm in Visual Studio now for Mac. This is the same script that you would find for the floor placement controller here, 
with a couple of small additions. Okay. First thing you want to do is there is under serialized field, you have a public game object with these brackets here. That means you want an array. And we just call this object array. That's just a name that I chose. Okay. The serialized field function with the brackets means that when you're in Unity, you can populate it just like we did by dragging things into it. If you drag something in, it's going to be attached to that element. That's really handy uh, for novices, you know, folks that don't, you know, do a lot of code. Uh, you can just give this to them, and that's going to work great. Um, so going back to the code here. Uh, so we've set that up. We have an array. We put stuff in it. Okay. Then all you've got to do, basically, make sure I got that right there. Yeah, all you got to do is... Before we said spawn new was an instantiated and we called this object just object to spawn. It was one object, right? Uh, now, instead of that, I've actually commented it out here. So it's still, those mean get rid of it, like ignore it, right? Now we say instantiate from object array a random number in the range from zero to the length of the array, which is what you got in unity here so that number grows every time you add something so it says pick a number from like basically one to four or well sorry in this case zero to three because the array is size four unity is kind of smart like that um and then at the hit pose position and the hit pose rotation which is exactly what we did before when all we did was spawn one object okay so all the code is the same we're using the raycast manager the plane manager to to find a plane and then when you touch it it's going to cast a ray from where you touch the phone to create a, a spot on that plane once that is done it will remove the planes and then every time you touch it it's going to instantiate something randomly uh, from that array it's actually pretty pretty clean bit of code there um, if i do say so um, and that's it like if you compile this you'll get exactly what i showed you uh here so again, all this is going to be contained in the file that I've got posted. Uh, it's under the file place random objects. Um, I trust you know how to import things into the prefabs you know folder. You can import textures and materials using the methods I've already I've already shown. That should work just fine. Um, not a fast method in terms of importing, but once you have built it, it's pretty it's pretty clean. Okay, and just just to backtrack again, you have to have a tracked pose driver under your camera. You should have one by default. Under the arrow session origin, when you're going to drag, you know, this script in here to get that to work, um, if, if, if you don't have that script, you need to have an airplane manager. It should automatically generate the raycast manager, and uh, you just have to populate that array. And all that should work just fine. If you, if you open this up uh, from what I've saved, all you've got to do is basically just add uh, your own prefabs to that array, and it should work. Okay. Hope that helps. I will uh, talk to y'all later.